you believe in sex before marriage and have you had it? Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do you want me to Do you believe in sex before marriage? We'll answer that one first. Um, have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Yes. As in, Wait, which one? I've never... Wait, are you talking about both? Huh? What do you mean? Men are trash. <laughs> Girls are dustbins. But no, I've never cheated. Oh, I've so you've been cheated on. cheated on? Okay. Yeah, I've been cheated on. By a demon. Is that it? Or do you want to know? Can, can we just know the situation? Like, what you happened? want to know the situation? Yeah. Some demon tried to take my soul. Now, basically, um, she was building a company at the time to do with per like personal development, helping people with their confidence because someone she knew committed suicide. I said I was going to help her with it. Mm. And then she was basically taking, like, she was asking people on Instagram if they wanted to help out with what she was doing. And then she didn't want my help. But anyway, some guy hit her up. She told me who the guy was. I already knew that this guy is known for like trying to off pant in it. What I didn't know is that she told him she was going to tell me that he wants to be involved. Yeah. And basically he was like, oh, when he hears that I'm involved, he's not going to like it. But my thing is, I don't care who it is in it. My thing is just, are they right for the business? Yeah. And anyway, from that situation, I found that she was flirting with him or something. We then decided to go on a break. While we was on a break, we got together and spoke about the situation. Then I was supposed to see her on the Friday. Just this same Friday was the day that my mum was going into hospital for. Um, oh my gosh. For her leg, not leg transplant. What's it called? A hip replacement. That's it. Yeah. So I've I've texted her. I've rang her. Yeah. She's not answered. I'm thinking like my mum's come out of hospital and I haven't even spoken to my girl and I like. Mm. Oh, she's not caring it. And you've read. You know that my mum's come that's out of hospital you know as well, isn't it? I get a ring from her. And. I can just tell like she's drunk in it, like she's been drinking in it just by how she's sounding in it. But she's like, oh, I went to see a friend. Listen, from when you hear a friend, yeah, my heart kind of just took a beat in it. Like yeah. I knew, I already knew, I already knew in it. I think I said, did you do something? And she was like, you know when there's no reply in it? And I just knew, mm. and I was like, did you do it? And she was like, yeah, listen, you don't need to know how deep the hole is to know there's a hole, right? But something about it, <laughs> you know when I knew and, and I was, my heart was beating, like I'm sweating, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm doing the hay off, I'm clenching fish and I'm sitting there. Because <laughs> we've had sex, but now I'm thinking about someone else having sex with you. And now I'm thinking about you having intimate sex. And now I'm thinking about you enjoying the intimate sex. That's just too and much I'm just thinking like, rah, are you enjoying the sex more than you're enjoying the sex with me? Like, I'm telling you, when someone cheats on you, yeah, it's literally a breakdown of what's wrong with you. Like now you start Yeah, to, you think it's, you're the problem. You're the problem. They are the problem. What is it about me that made this happen, innit? And it's like, it, li it literally took away my masculinity. Describe your relationship with your mother or describe it with your father. Well, my mum, we don't have a bad relationship, but obviously I'm going through my teenage years, so I lock myself from her a lot, which is really bad, and I feel bad for doing it, but I don't know why I do it. Like, she's someone that I can, I know I can talk to, but I just wouldn't. We're not that close. I feel like I'm closer to my dad. Like, I feel like nothing beats that father-daughter bond, like, it's really special. But I love my mum, yeah, there's nothing wrong with her, I just don't know why, I just... I just isolate myself from her. Mm. But my dad, in a way, I admire him more mm. because he works so hard. And seeing, like, when I went back home to Ghana and seeing where he came from to where we are now, I'm just like, I admire you so much because look what you've done for me. Mm. Whereas my mum was born here and, like, she had, like, the same upbringing as me. So it's like, yeah, you, you did well, but okay, my dad did. But you saw the graft of Yeah, like, I saw here. how my dad worked hard and it's just like, it just it just makes me become more closer to him. Does it does it shape like the type of guy that you look for? A hundred percent. Because I've always said that I wanted someone like my dad, if that makes sense. Mm. Not in a creepy way. That's but, deep still. Yeah. 
I always look for someone who's like my dad because that's the kind of father I want my children to have. So do you feel like right, if you got pregnant, yeah, could you go to your mum? Who would you go to, your mum or your dad? I'm not going to my dad. Sorry, my dad is African. There's no way I'm going to my dad. I'll go to my mum because she will kill me at the same time, but let's just hope I don't get pregnant. Yeah, let's hope you get married first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can't you don't have sex first before you get married. <laughs> you know, don't take the risk. Tell me one thing about yourself that you don't tell anyone. It's okay, neither of you, bro. This is counselling. I know. <laughs> um, one thing about myself that I don't tell anyone. I think about killing people. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't mean, I'm, I'm being real, I'm being real. Wait, no, you wait. wanted to know, then you gotta, if you wanted to know, now you know, wait, it? Like, If you, you wanna mean, go there, we're gonna go there, innit? Like, do you mean like? <laughs> no, nah, like, I don't think about killing people like, oh, I want them dead. I mean, in depth, how could I get away with this? I'd be one of them serial killers that if you looked at me funny, I'd think you know what I'd done and stab you or do something, innit? But no, nah, I used to I'm think not trying about to die like, today. robbing banks and like the best way to rob a bank, like I'll do a good 15 year heist, like map out a bank for 15 years, work in the bank, then rob it. <laughs> oh wait, I'm so sorry. Or kill people, oh, do you know you can kill Why someone? Why are you getting yeah. excited over killing people? Sorry, no, I love shows like CSI and stuff here, yeah, and I used to think like, is this realistic? But I realized you can oh actually kill God. someone through air. It's like in your sleep, I don't even know if I should tell people this, but you can kill someone through bu like bubbles of air, putting it in their bloodstream, innit? and the bubble will go to their heart and then they'll die. And the it's one of the hardest you know ways for people to actually understand. Like, if the bubble goes to your heart, you can think the person either suffocated, had a cardiac arrest, or like a heart attack in it. You would never actually think that the person was murdered. And if I done it in your sleep, there's no sign of struggle. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. What the hell is that? No, well, you put me with a serial killer. Do you believe in sex before marriage? And have you had it? Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> wait, wait, how do you want me to Do you believe in sex before marriage? Answer that one first. Um, what, do I disagree with it or...? Do you believe in sex before marriage? Yes, I've, I'm sorry, yeah, but I think you should have sex before you get married because... Why? <laughs> I'm not saying I disagree. Well, but... I know you don't disagree. Hey, but... hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but... I'm not gonna lie, if I could take back my virginity, I would, you know. I'm actually being dead serious being dead serious. I've always said like when I get married I want everything to be the same as it was before um, marriage but like if we didn't have sex before we were married yeah and then we realise yeah when we have sex yeah there's actually nothing there like imagine there's actually nothing there. Imagine divorcing someone because the sex wasn't there and the affection wasn't there like. So you don't think you can get better at sex? You know what I mean? You need experience. You need experience? Yeah. So wouldn't you be experiencing it with the same person and then over time you gain experience? This is what I feel like. People don't discuss when they have sex like, I don't like that or I like this. People are different, you know. Sex with different people is Yeah. Different. I think it's different because once you put sex in a relationship, where do you go from here? We shouldn't be having sex so early in a, re in a relationship or a situation. Like, so I feel like people have it too early. So and then that, that's when they realise, oh, we don't have nothing without sex. Okay, cool. Because... Mm. Being the person that I am, it's not that easy to just do that with me. So it takes a very, very long time. So, yeah. Oh my God. Hi. What's your name, darling? Fawzia. I'm Clever. Nice to meet you for the first time. Nice to meet you. How old are you? 18. Oh, okay, I'm 20. I swear. Yeah. I like that you was honest mm. and that you're very perky, perky sit. I like your outlook on like your parents oh, and yeah. how you look up to your father. Mm -hmm. And that you plan to have a man that's like your father. I like that a lot. Thank you. We need more girls like you in this world. I know, that's what I've been thinking all the time. And what's one thing you liked about me? Mm, this is really hard. Wait, sorry, go on. It was, it's hard. Yeah, this is a hard question. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I can tell you, you really care. It shows that you're not selfish, because I can't stand selfish people. Oh, thank you. And you're clearly not selfish. So I like that, Clever. I like you too. Thank you, darling. 
would you stay in touch as friends or more? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, man. He's a cool guy. She's all right. I think I'd like to have a conversation like this with you again. Yes. And I want to hear more of your experiences because... Oh, it's not every day. Fire. Anything that you needed advice on or that I can like, help you like foresee coming. Yeah. I'd love to be there for you. Especially you on a male perspective because you're going to have trouble with males. I right know, because they're trash. You're going to encap... We're not trash. Okay, fancy. It's probably one that I wouldn't explore, but I just think it's like kind of sexy. It's kind of like incest, <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. I just want to be clear, like I wouldn't do that. But like, I just think that's kind of like a sexy thing, but that might be because I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones. <laughs>